Hey my doll babies, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Carice. I am a 24 year old entrepreneur from Memphis, Tennessee, currently residing in Florida. This week has been rough, especially the past couple of days. I have not been myself, but we getting it together. So this video, I'm going to be kind of helping you guys or showing you guys my process of researching for a vendor. Um, some of these vendors you may have heard of, you might know of, you might even shop from them if you have an apparel or accessory company. In order to see a lot of these vendor prices, you have to have a resale license and you have to have an account with the different vendors. When you are shopping resale for retail to resale, um, you definitely want to find something that it's kind of cohesive because you don't want to be like Walmart. Like you don't want to have a ton of different things. No, you need to find a, a, a window of opportunity. That way it's easier for you to find your target audience. That way it's easy, easier for you to pitch your ideas and your one-liners and whatever it is that you need to pitch to make sure that you get people to your website and you make yourself. My process, I usually just find the vendor, I go through everything that they have or most of the stuff that they have. And I try to find stuff that I like, that's my style, that's cohesive with my brand and who I am. Um, if it's something that I just totally don't like or wouldn't wear, it's not going on my website. That's cause it's not my brand. <laughs> um, so just think about stuff like that while you are looking for vendors and um, researching for different people to work with, different companies to work with. Okay, I'm gonna turn, maybe I'll just record my screen. Yeah, I'm gonna record my screen and record myself so y'all can see both. How do I do that on here? I don't even know, let me see. Y'all like my makeup? I did like a soft glam inspired thing today just cause I was feeling down. So makeup always makes me feel better. When you look good, you feel good. That's what my grandma taught me. So the first site I'm going to show you guys is Magnolia's Fashion Wholesale. And let me move my mouse because it's right next to my phone. And I'm sure y'all can hear the click, 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 So, um, yeah. So this website I really like because they offer so much to um, help people who are just starting out, who don't have the finances to just blow it all on the, on the website. They offer, off, they offer, I'm just all over the place. They offer after pay which is um, a, a service that allows you to make your payments in four installments. Um, I think they're two-week installments, but it comes in handy. Um, personally, I don't use Afterpay. I've used a firm. I love a firm. I will stand by a firm, okay? Um, that's my go-to whenever I want to make a purchase and then pay it later. Okay, so Magnolia Wholesale. And I'm not going to log in because y'all cannot see the prices on here. I don't think. I don't want to get in trouble. So it offers two to three day shipping on here. And they have new styles daily. And they have very fast customer service. All things, all these things are true. I can attest to. So um, let's get right into this. Um, it has instructions on how to order on here. So this one, you definitely have to have a um, account with them and you have to have a resale license to get an account because you have to put that in there. Now, sometimes some companies will take just your business license, especially if you're just starting out and you don't have a resale license yet. Da, 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 da. Customers are quite a valid state of ID, business license and seller's permit. So yes, you need a business license and a seller's permit, of course, and you only can get in here um, if you have your account approved first. So let's go and see what we can see without having an approved account. Now, this stuff is it's cute, like it's trendy. But yeah, they got like a lot of cute stuff on here that will probably be on brand with a lot of different companies. I think the ones that are kind of like faded out are the ones that are sold out. So. You just have to kind of jump on this stuff quick because like you know probably that there are so many companies out there who are selling clothes and trying to be on the up and up and trying to be on the uptake that people come in and they snatch this stuff so quick and it's sold out and it's gone girl so make sure y'all have y'all notifications on alerts on 
for when these companies are posting and um, updating their inventory so that you can get on here and get some stuff that's cute. You want to go with the one that's the cheapest because the cheaper it is for you to buy it, the lower your price can be when you resell it. Honestly. Let's see, they have jewelry and we go up here. They got some shoes. Um, and this business is actually um, up and coming because when I first started researching for my website, they didn't have nearly as much stuff on here as they do now. So yes, this is one of my top choices. Magnolia Wholesale is one of my top choices. Um, just try to be as professional as you can, you guys. This is your brand. Don't ruin your reputation before you even get out the door. Don't do it. So I'm going to show you the next one. And this one is one that a lot of people use because it's full of a ton of vendors. Like there's so many different ones on here that people just come. They have their, their toys at whatever brand, whatever vendor, whatever, whatever because it's all here in one place. Um, this is one of the biggest ones that I found, aside from LA Showroom and, of course, AliExpress, Alibaba. Now, this is the website that I first started with. Um, when I began my business, or when I first started researching for my business, this is where I came. And, of course, I didn't have my resale license yet. I didn't have my resale certificate yet, because I wanted to try to get a feel for what I wanted, actually, on my website before I actually you know, spent money to get stuff. Now, resale licenses don't cost money. So, they try to charge you for them, go around it, go get it another way because they usually are free. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? Yes. Okay, so on this website, this is the one where I sent them an email and I let them know that I didn't have my resale license. I did... Send them my articles of organization to let them know that my business was an entity. It was mine, a sole proprietorship, and it was legit legal. Um, just so they didn't think I was trying to pull the okie doke on them. Um, but I'm on this website, and these are uh, um, some of the vendors, all of the vendors, all of the vendors on here right now. Um, they have reviews next to them and I tend to go to the ones with the most reviews so I know what I'm getting into so I can read some reviews and see you know how other people liked the company um and I just clicked a random one but you see like the prices are not bad at all um and if I get in trouble for doing this I'm sorry I'm sorry fashion go I didn't know um <laughs> but <laughs> The prices aren't bad at all, so I would definitely recommend getting a um, resale license, reseller license or certificate or whatever so you can get in here. Now, all the vendors aren't going to be this cheap. Oh, these are my favorites. Okay, um, see, hot and delicious here. Let's just click on this because it's the first thing that came up. Um, I have 69 favorite vendors, but as you can see, their prices are a little bit more expensive than the one we just saw. But their stuff is a lot more trendy, a lot more, uh, they have a lot more statement pieces. I guess that's what you would say. Yeah, so you can come in here and find some stuff to put on your site. Um, I love jumpsuits and numbers, so I tend to stick to those. And dresses. Oh yeah, I love a good dress. Like this. My husband would have a fit, but <laughs> I will model and put it on the website. Yes, yes. But yeah, you have 173 reviews here, and I'm not going to show you the reviews because it has the names of the companies who purchased from them on there, and I'm not, I'm not going to take it that far for y'all. Um, but let's go ahead and log out of this one. But Fashion Go is the place to go. Um, no matter of fact, let me show y'all some other stuff real quick. There are plenty of things on here, not just clothes, not just women's clothes. You got accessories, um, you have kids stuff, let's see.
Look at that. They're so cute. Um, and you have men's stuff and other things like pets and keychains and tech accessories. There's some beauty stuff. Look at some lip gloss. See what's popping with the lip gloss. So Fashion Go is definitely a go for the beginners, the starting people starting out. Um, so let me get a better. Okay, so the last one that I'm going to show you guys is called LuxFashionLabels.com. Um, and this one actually offers drop shipping, which is something that I started with them, but I decided to not go that route because of the time it takes to actually get the product out for the time that it takes for them to actually get the product out um i have a two-day shipping guarantee on my website and i'm not going to change it just because it would be simpler for me to drop ship anyways um the drop shipping catalog is something that you can get into only if you are a member of the drop ship program okay i think that is something that could definitely benefit you in your business if you don't make promises like <laughs> we're gonna ship you out in two days guaranteed which is what I did. So because I did that, I'm not going to use this, this program. Um, it's like $7 a week or $21 a month. It's either or, I believe. But none of this stuff is extremely expensive. It's going to be more expensive for the customer because, you know, you have to make a profit. Don't forget that you got to make a profit, you guys. But I like this company. They have super trendy, super affordable stuff. My brand is trendy yet classic. I like that trendy and classic feel. Something that I can wear and wear it next year and then wear it the near year after that. You know, something that's not going to go out of style. That's my brand. That's what I aim for when I shop for my clothing store, for my boutique. That's what I'm aiming for. But this, they have a lot of cute trendy stuff as well. Like these leopard print flare pants are so cute and leopard is definitely in style right now. This red satin dress lovely love it um these metallic sequin pants are beautiful this dress is gorgeous these two pieces are beautiful i've seen this on a couple websites and this as well i've seen people in it so this one i think is a very good place to start off with the new business as well because they have a small catalog not too much to choose from not too much to jumble your brain but you definitely have some unique choices on this website um and i also think that the drop shipping program could be beneficial to whomever because with the drop shipping program you, you are charged that fee but you also can get like order sample samples to get to you so you can model them or you know take pictures in it so you can put it on your social media on your website that way you can help promote it better to have people order it and then they order it it goes to to their, <laughs> they order it through your website. You order it through them. They send it out to your customer. You never get the product. That's also something to be mindful of. So you never see it. You never know what it's like. So ordering samples, I think, will be very beneficial to you. Just so you know that the quality is there and everything before you actually put it on the site and promote it. Um, but those are my top three. Three and then that one that has like 50 million in it. Um, I hope you guys like this video if y'all have any questions about anything else business wise um boutique wise um if y'all want certain videos y'all want me to cook y'all want some hair reviews makeup i don't know but um i do it all i'm more than a triple threat and don't forget to like this video thumbs up it subscribe and leave me some questions let me know what you want to see next in the comments below um but yeah, I'll see my doll babies. I'll see you guys next, in the next video. I'm not going to say when it's coming out, but it's coming. All right, see y'all later. Usually I'm humble. Right now I don't choose. You can leave with me or 